because I still get them calls. What's up with this nigga? Mm -hmm. I get calls from them, and they want to rob everybody. Man, my, I remember one day, I never told this goddamn story. I'm in the club, and we in the club, and, and I got a piece of the club that we in, and Fabulous come. Now, I'm a fan. Now, I'm in the, and I'm going to tell you some shit. I've been a fan of damn near every nigga I had a run in with. So being a fan of a motherfucker is scary for me. <laughs> <laughs> The Fabulous was in the club, and I had to literally tell like 10 different people, no, no, leave that man, no. I'm like, listen, okay, his bodyguard is my cousin. Like, I have to say this now, like, yeah. hey man, that's my cousin doing security. Now, his bodyguard was one of Paul Rosenberg bodyguards, big motherfucking name, big motherfucking name, I forgot his name, Stop yeah. with a seat, but big motherfucking boy. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, Craig was a nigga mm -hmm. named Craig. And I'm Craig, I know Craig, and I'm like, you know, I know I can't let nothing happen to Fabulous, but I'm a point being, what if I wasn't there? What if I wasn't there? They done got all the niggas, they don't give a fuck about no bodyguard. Yeah. You the first. first one to get it. <laughs> you the first one to get a bottle <laughs> across the head, a pistol in the back of your fucking neck. <laughs> in the I be a year then. But it, but I have been that mediator in between so many situations where even when people was like throwing stones at a nigga like, man, this nigga, you a bully and this, that, and the other. And I'm like, I don't get no credit for not saying, get him. But most real niggas don't get credit because most real niggas ain't about here bragging about it. Telling everybody, why did everybody said, get them? Easy. Get them. Get them. Get them. Get them. Get them. Get them. Get him. Him or them. Everybody. All that shit. All them. Get them. I could have said, and so many times I could have said, get them. But I was like, no, no. It's some cats that got it. And I was like, what the fuck y'all do that for? And then it just be like, all right, well, fuck it. We're going to have to let it, you know, don't nobody say nothing. Yeah. Don't talk about it. Let it dwindle away. The situation with Big Fella, that, was, that wasn't none of our goddamn speaking on. We just was like, that shit was over with when it was over with. The point was made. The understanding was there. We was done. It was nothing to talk about publicly or nothing. It was like until the dumbass, stupid-ass radio station trying to get some views, get their punk ass on there and make their own little documentary. Mm -hmm. on the negative thing that they want to talk about that happened when you just had eight, nine artists that went on before this guy that you could have highlighted mm -hmm. and had a, a, a replay, you know, of what they did. You know, your little crowd, you could have brought the camera down. You know, my camera guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> make it look crowded right there, you know what I'm saying? Make it look good. <laughs> they chose to go right after this shit and go make a whole fucking little segment clip documentary on nothing about nothing else good that happened that night. Just on what they mm. wanted to be interpreted as, you know, mm -hmm. what they wanted it to be. But they wanted it to wasn't the, even that. They wanted to get the highlight out of it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Exactly. And then, but they should know because the situation won't handle them. Like, you could have handled the situation, or, you, or the open trip would have handled the situation. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. 